Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about something interesting again. We will be running Python inside H. We are not running JavaScript. We are running Python inside HTML. And because it sounds interesting, so let's jump into it. So, uh, called PyScript.net. Uh, another it's a open source project. You can take a look. Um, this is again a very very good project because I think uh, a lot of people love Python. They don't want to write JavaScript. So. I mean, if you are that person, then you can try it out. Okay, let's see how we can install it, how we can try it out. So first of all, inside my directory, I can create a new directory, let's say PyScript demo. And inside, uh, let's go, and then I'll open it inside my VS Code. And once we are inside my VS Code, then, okay, let's, okay. Now let's uh, create one index.html because that's what we write for HTML, right? And I'll just uh, start with a boilerplate. And let's say we just uh, want to call it price script demo. Okay. Um, and generally, we can also add a script for, oh, sorry, not had, but rather a script uh, where we can, you know, have all the things like we can specify the type. So it will be a module. And then we can specify the source of that module and source i probably remember what is the source so let's write it so it should be pyscript.net slash releases slash uh, the date let's say 2023.12.1 and slash code.js uh, however you don't have to write it by yourself <laughs> you can just take a look for example we can go into the install section and we can take a look i mean it was almost similar uh yeah the release is mine one is latest apparently <laughs> and uh, this one is older but also we can copy this um you know like css link and let's paste it as well okay inside the body section now uh we can have a normal div and we can say hello from PyScript, something like this okay this is something we have let's try to run this like open preview show preview so okay this is looking fine now how we can run PyScript? okay there are there are a couple of ways so the first way would be that we can specify a script uh, here itself for PyScript, and we can specify the type and the type can be py which is for python and then we can specify uh, where it is so source uh, we can let's say for example we can have a main.py so i can here create a new file called main.py and inside that, um, let's write something. For example, we can have um, just a print of hello world, something like this. And then, um, so we have this dot slash main dot pi. And then if you want, you can also configuration in JSON or Tomal, whatever you want to call it. Let's say we have a pi script dot Tomal okay tomal or json whatever you want to specify so example if you have tomal so you will create like this tomal and tomal will have let's say a name uh by script demo something something and then you can also have packages which will be again a list so yeah i mean this is how you uh, specify it or you can add your packages like whatever package you are using and or you can have a json also uh, that, that it will follow a normal json format that's it so this is uh, what we can do and uh, now because we have done it so or and, and in fact you don't have to specify the source you can write inside it as a like from here as a normal script right so this is all of these are all of the things which we can do now uh, let's try with main.py itself let's try to do something so let's say from um, date time import date time something like this and from py script um, okay from py script we can import we can import display as well as we can import document okay there are a lot of things we can import basically um, and then what I want to do is i want to show it um so for display what we can do is um i think we can write something like uh let's say we can say 
date time equal to date time dot now and then we can say display um, or maybe let's call it now rather like that's a better variable I guess and display we can use uh, to show it like this right and now we can see that it's working because now if we see the preview we can see hello from PyScript and it is showing the time which is exactly right now and this is looking actually pretty cool let's refresh it oh this is working perfectly fine uh, let's try to do something more uh, like and yeah, let's try to have a field over here let's say we can have uh, an input where we can have a type let's say type text name is equal to name um, like this and we can have an id name and then uh, we can have another div um, let's say which we can just call as output and inside it we can write something right and now let's say we want to do something on um, on when once you click on this name right so we can have a button we can have a button where we can um, write something like this by click oh in fact not on click in fact we have something called pi click and let's say um, we can say uh, show message something like this and uh, show message okay we have this button right so this is what we have and uh, when you click on it pi click show message so this is a function which we will create and then something should happen right once you have the name right so uh, let's go to main uh, and this 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 and then we can have a function let's say show message it will have an event and then what we can do is um, we can get that uh, name so name is equal to we can just say document that uh, query selector hashtag name dot value and I think we should get the name and then we can get the uh, let's say output is equal to document dot query selector dot output and then we can say output dot inner text is equal to hello this okay something like this let's try it out uh, let's say my name is Pawan so I'll just say Pawan and let's click on it and you can see hello Pawan right so this is an easiest way of how you can get started with PyScript I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did if you want me to more make more videos on it then press the like button subscribe to the channel and also share with your friends and let me know your thoughts about PyScript in the comments see you in the next one bye bye take care